Welcome. In this tutorial, you will learn how to build interactive dashboards in Tableau. A dashboard is a collection of several worksheets and some supporting objects shown in a single place. You can add objects such as text areas, web pages, images, etc. to a dashboard. Thus, in a dashboard, you can compare and monitor a variety of data simultaneously. Now, let us see how can we create a dashboard. But, before we get started with the dashboard creation, let us first see what workbooks would make this dashboard. I already have the state sales workbook which is colored by profit, a scatter plot where you can see a plot between sales and profit colored by regions, and a category sales report which displays sales for office supplies and technology departments. Let us now create a dashboard with these views. To create a dashboard, let us click the New Dashboard tab at the bottom of the workbook. Let us rename this dashboard as Sales Dashboard. If you observe, in the top left corner, we have all the active sheets. To create a dashboard, I simply have to select a sheet, drag and drop it on the canvas. Notice that when we are placing the sheets, a grey box appears. This indicates the placement of the sheet. A new feature in Tableau is that you can keep objects and sheets floating. By default, dashboards use a tile layout, which means that each object is arranged into a single layered grid. You can change the layout to floating to allow views and objects to overlap. To switch an object to floating, simply select the view or object in the dashboard and then select the floating checkbox at the bottom of the dashboard window. Let us see how can we switch between tiled and floating layouts. Let us select the regions legend and make it floating. I can now place this on the scatter plot graph. Similarly, let's make the profit legend floating. Let us place this on the state sales area. Let us clear the titles for these worksheets. So I select the worksheet and uncheck the checkbox show title. Let us now try to make this sheet interactive by adding a quick filter on ear. So let's go to the sheet first. Let's select the order date and place it in the filter pane. Select years. For now I'll select all the years and I click on OK. Then we'll go back to our sales dashboard and enable the filter here. To do this Let's again go to the drop down menu. Let's go to quick filters and select year of order date. As you can see, the year filter is displayed at the top. I can also change the style in which this control is being displayed. Let's say I want a slider. Let us make this control floating and let's place it below the profit legend. Now as you can see when I'm changing years from this particular selector it is affecting my state sales graph as well. Now what if I want this control to act as filter for other sheets as well. To do this, let's go to the controller drop down. Let's go to apply to worksheets and select selected worksheets. In this window, we can select the worksheets for which this controller will act as a filter. 
Now, if you observe, when I select a particular year, it is affecting all the sheets on the dashboard. So this is how we can add interactivity to our dashboard. Now let us add a title to our dashboard. To add a title, let's go to the dashboard menu and select show title. Let us resize our title. To add your company's logo or any image on this dashboard, you can simply click on this image button, browse to the location where the image is located and your image will be added. Let us now view this dashboard in presentation mode. So as you can see, we have quickly created an interactive dashboard in Tableau. In this tutorial, you learned how to create interactive dashboards and apply filters. We also learned the difference between tiled layout and floating layout. We also learned how to add images to our dashboard. Thank you.